can this video get 50 million likes? I do not even know. Don't even ask what that intro was. But today, guys, we're going to be taking a look, and welcome back, I guess, to another PZO video with the webcam. Um, look, I know, the quality, it's, it's not the best quality in the world, but you know what? I got to deal with it. You got to live with what you got, man. Like, I'm not rich. I can't buy a DSLR camera, but... We'll have to deal with that. I, the lighting in my room is really bad, too. I know. It's, I'm literally only using one lamp, which is over here, and it's barely even bright in my room. My curtains are open, but I don't get much sunlight, so my room's brightness very, very bad. But hey, what are you going to do about it? Anyways, today, guys, we're going to be taking a look at a Vespa Quinn Umbreon GX deck, and I personally think this is one of my more favorite ways to play with Vespa. Actually, let me move back this a little bit. If I move this back, maybe I can... Okay, I need to be able to, like look at my webcam anyways i need to be a little closer to my mic but anyways hope you guys are ready so anyways vespa quinn we already know this card is really good in standard it's pretty it's one of the, honestly one of the top decks in standard right now i mean it's doing super good and then when you pair it with umbreon could it work we'll see i mean we've seen it with stuff like zork and we've definitely seen it as a striker but with umbreon who knows this is kind of like this this is kind of like squeaky's list that i got here that he had um, I kind of edited a little bit. I added a few things, took a few things out, kind of tweaked it to my own liking. Um, so Umbreon GX is probably one of the best GXs in Sun and Moon. Um, basically, it's got the attack Shadow Bullet, 1 for 90. Pretty good. Or not 1 for 90, 3 for 90. Why did I say that? And then it has Strafe. Strafe can work, and we'll actually use Strafe in this in um, this deck a little bit, maybe. Dark Call is a good GX attack in some situations. Mostly, it's Shadow Bullet. Sniping stuff, sending some stuff for Knockout, it's really good. But the fact that it's a stage 1 means you can run the other evolutions, like Jolteon, which allows you to target Evil Talls and Lugias. You got Vaporeon, which allows you to target Volcanion. And Flareon, which if you run into Lorantis, which Lorantis is pretty popular right now, boom, you can hit it for weakness. It also goes for Vespaquin, which does be revenge, and it does 20 plus time damage for each Pokemon in your discard pile. This is really, really good, because what you obviously do is you get a bunch of Pokemon in your discard pile. Now, without Battle Compressor, it's not as good, but we can still make it work even without my boy Battle Compressor. So I definitely think this deck still works out pretty well. And um, now, other stuff we got in the deck, uh, we do run one Wob. This is kind of just here as by Barricade. Maybe if we start with Wob, Effect, we can buy a few turns to set up, but mainly what it's here for is for strafe. In some situations where we have to do strafe, we can do strafe for 30, and then we can switch out into Wobbuffet, and then block their ability, and then float, and then strafe again. If we have to do that, we have to do that, so that's why we do play one Wob. Uh, two Klefkies, this is another way to get Pokemon on the discard pile, easy, but also the fact that it has Wonderlock, which, you know, can help you get some Mega Evolutions, um, which I think it works for GXs, yeah. Wait, does it? Yeah, it does. Alright, sweet. Yeah, wait, this Pokemon... Okay, yeah, no, I, yeah, it works for a uh, thing, I guess. I, I didn't know if it worked for EXs, but yeah, we can use Clefki with Umbreon, I guess, I don't know. I mean, there are Megas like Mega Ray, which is seen more play now. We even got uh, Mewtwo Y, which is still one of the most popular decks in the format. So yeah. Now, cool thing also, in the, I guess, with this, this deck is Eevee. You got the Evolution Energy. Evolution. What the heck am I even saying anymore? Dude, I'm done. But we got the Evolution Eevee. Um, basically, energy evolution, put a dark on it, boom, you get Umbreon in play on turn one, which is really OP. Uh, we do run one Orangaroo. This is a decent card to kind of get you out of those situations where you have to draw extra cards, so, I don't know. Uh, we are going to run one of those. Uh, we got one Wob in the deck, too. Wob oh, I already said Wob Oh my god, I need to just stop making videos. Uh, we do run two Shaman. I'm kind of skeptical on even running two. I might even just go with one, mainly because... Putting the X's on your bench when you're playing a deck like Vespaquin can hurt you, but we are playing Umbreon. So the fact that we are running Umbreon in the deck means that Vespaquin isn't, or not, uh, Shaman isn't as big as a deal. Because when we have Shaman on the bench, it's such an easy target to get knocked out. So I don't know, maybe running one is a little better, since you do need the draw support. But speaking of draw support, we got Unknown! This is another amazing way to get Pokemon on your discard pile. Once you're in turn for attack, this thing is on your bench. Discard it, and then draw a card. It's super powerful. And uh, those are all our Pokemon. We run a total of 28 and obviously we got a 4-4 Vespa Quinn. 28 Pokemon. I think it's a decent amount for this deck. Anyways, going to the items. Two level balls. A lot of stuff in this deck. I'm under 90 HP. Like Unknown, Combi, Vespa Quinn, Eevee. All these Eeveelutions have under 90. Klefki even. So we're going to play two of those. One charge. Just get back our DCEs. We don't need any more because we do run four darks. So that kind of helps us sometimes. Maybe we can put a dark on and another dark on count. It's like two energies. So we don't really need that. So I think we're fine with the one special charge. Four Ultra Balls, it's another great searching card, but it's also another great way of getting Pokemon on the discard pile. Four via Seeker for your supporters. One Hex Maniac, this is really nice.
nice just play Hex Maniac, slow your opponent down, and also it can be pretty decent uh, against like maybe Volcanion, who knows, um, but it's just nice to have, you know. Uh, two Lysanders is a great card in this deck, uh, especially when you do Shadow Bullet, setting stuff up for damage, Lysander goes out, knock them out, boom, who knows. 3N, and great draw sports, and 4 Sycamores, Sycamore is another amazing way to get pulled by your discard pile. Uh, one Teammates, this is great because everything in this deck has low HP, like Vespa Quinn, and all these Pokemon are low HP, they're easy to be knocked out, so we got one teammate to help us with that. Two floats, having Fear Treat is nice, I mean, with Muscle Band being out of the format, there is no other supporters. I mean, if you want to go with Assault Vest, that'd be a little dumb, but you could run one Assault maybe for Umbreon, since it's not really good for Vespa Quinn. Uh, we are going to play two floats, though, again, without Muscle Band, Fighting Fury Bell is basically useless for these cards. Unless you want to tackle the Ranguru, but you're not going to most of the time. Four DCEs, again, for your Vespa Quinn, Umbreon, and we do play a total of four Darkness Energy. So that is the Evolutions, uh, Umbreon, Vespa Quinn, Evolutions deck, I guess, whatever. I'm just going to call it Umbreon, Vespa Quinn. So let's go try this out on PC Joe, see in action, see if we can get some good games, and so we'll see you guys in just a second. We'll find another match with our deck, or not another match, we're going to find a game. Why did I say another match? What am I doing with my life? I don't even know anymore. I give up, guys. I give up. But hey, it is what it is. Playing against Cardzilla, that is a crazy name, and that is a crazy avatar. Jeez. <laughs> Alright. It's definitely playing, I think, it's probably going to be Turbo Darkrai, maybe? I don't know. It's either Evil Tall or Turbo Darkrai. I'm hoping that it's, like, maybe Evil Tall. That might be, it plays Garbodor, that might hurt. I don't know, because Garbodor shuts down Jolteon. And if it's Darkrai, we don't really have any way to do weakness to that, which is a problem with this deck. I don't know if you can run... Like some kind of fighting type attacker with Vespa Quinn. I mean, I've seen Vesimian, but Vesimian doesn't work in my opinion because you have to fill up your bench with Vesimian. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. I don't think it works. We win the coin flip, which is good. We might be able to get a turn two Shadow Bolt if we can get the EV start. Let's see. What are we going to start with? All right. It looks like we do get the EV start. Our hand is a little clunky. All right. That's fine, though. We can make things work, folks. We can make things work. We got to find like an N or something. One thing this deck needs, I think, is maybe mail. Bikes, maybe. Bikes might be great, but the problem is, is you know. They don't come cheap. You know what I mean? You don't they don't really come cheap. So that could be a problem. But hey, what do I know? Alright, so let's see what my opponent's gonna be playing. It's a dark deck. Hoping for Evil Tall. I, yeah, I guess yeah, Evil Tall. Nope, Dark Rye. Alright. Oh, <laughs> not my favorite matchup. We have two Umbreons in our hand, so I don't even know if this was gonna work. Yeah. So an Umbreon is prized. Alright, that's kind of annoying. Even might get knocked out here. If my opponent can do like some crazy play, Eevee can go down, which isn't very fun. Alright, so we have a lot of supporters, which is nice. Alright, so I guess what we'll do is level ball for another unknown. We gotta draw a bunch of cards here, folks. Uh, I mean, we could grab like another Eevee, put one on the bench, but uh, I don't think it matters anymore. Especially the fact that we know my opponent doesn't play like Rayquaza, not Rayquaza, uh, Evil Doll. So I guess we'll do the double farewell letter, see if we can get something. Float. Ah, I don't need that. Come on. Give me, uh, like, an N or something. <laughs> Why, game? Oh, my God. This game hates me. Uh, yeah, I guess we're just... I guess, pass. Three? Okay, we'll do this. Three, two, one, pass. Maybe my opponent will be like, alright, this guy's just like a god to your hand. That was a horrible whiff. Uh, that, I'm not gonna lie, that was... That was pretty bad. Fortunately, it didn't work out, but hey, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? <laughs> my man Umbreon, he's like, why? I made my opponent, might be AFK. I have a feeling he's gonna be like AFK or something, and maybe we can get any damage? I don't know. I'll have to wait and see what my, my boy Cardzilla is doing. What is he cooking up in the crock pot? Alright, he's taking a while. I'm not gonna jinx it, but he might be AFK. Oh, come on. I, every time I say that they might be AFK, they're not AFK. We need to, like, get N, and he actually gets Riven N and a Sycamore, which probably means he's gonna end up playing Sycamore, unless, uh, hopefully he draws into, like, a bunch of stuff he needs off of whatever he's gonna do here. Maybe if he has a bunch of good cards in his hand, maybe he's gonna have to force to play N. He does grab Garb, so it is a Garbodor, which, you know, isn't the worst thing as long as... I mean, we're not really using much. He grabs Lily. Oh, don't. Okay, so maybe he whiffs an energy. I don't know. He actually goes with Lily. He has to draw five cards, but maybe he'll whiff. Float. That's not good. If we get Shaman shut down, or he finds a dark. Another dark ride. Please don't max Elixir. There's a baby evil tall. A Shaman. <laughs> Give up, man. Oh, come on, dude. This is bad. I mean, we can attach a dark energy to Eevee and set it up for Shadow Bullet, but it's not helping, man. 
Max Lifter, I just pass. So nothing really too crazy. A Combi, I guess we can play Combi down. We can evolve an Umbreon. We get the option to strafe. I want to keep Combi alive, so I think I'll just Dark Energy this. Uh, Dark Call, and we can do that next turn, maybe. So let's see, you may switch, so we don't have to argue. So we can just do 30 damage. If we switch into Combi, it'll get knocked out, and then we kind of lose at best Bookwin. So I think we'll keep the Combi on the bench for now. I don't know, maybe we could have done that. My opponent has a heart. Another heart, holy, how many hearts is this guy going to send? Is this guy a fan? Uh, yes, I'll say hello. I don't know. Alright, we see another Dark Energy going on Dark Ride. Okay, so as long as he doesn't do, like, Max Elixir, he's got to have, like, a VS Seeker in his hand. There's no way he would just discard a Sycamore in end without, like, VS Seeker, so. The odds of him and a VS Seeker here are pretty high. So I'm kind of scared. Garb's coming down. There goes our Unknowns and our Shamans and our Rangaroo. So that's going to be pretty brutal. This is going to be rough. Please just end me. End me. No, Lily. Okay. He's not drawing extra cards with that. Like he just did last time. So why didn't he just Sycamore? Alright. Hey, I mean, I'm not going to complain, I guess. He, why would... I'm surprised he didn't do Sycamore. Maybe he thought he drew eight cards? I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Um, okay. Just a Dark Pulse for 60. Alright, that's still doing decent damage, but not a lot. Come on. Oh, come on, game. You couldn't give me, like, at least a Dark Energy? Hmm. I'm... Should I just Dark Call? I mean, we're doing 30, it's not really doing- I mean, we could Dark Call move all that. He has a Float on, so he could retreat to Baby Evil Tall. Hmm. I mean, if he retreats Baby Evil Tall, it does buy us time, I guess, from him not knocking us out, because he could have a crazy play next turn. So yeah, I think I'm going to Dark Call. I know it might be a weird play, but this removes all of his energy off his field, which does buy us some time, which we might need, so... I don't mind that. Yeah, he's going to retreat. He's going to go with Oblivion Wing. But this way, he's not doing a lot. He's only doing 30, and 30 damage buys us more time to maybe set some stuff up. So that's why I went with the Dark Call. Oh, yeah. See, he had a bunch of stuff in his hands. So that's kind of why I had to go with Dark Call there. Lily, I mean, if we don't target something soon, we're going to be in some deep trouble. Because we only have two Pokemon to discard pile. He has a Garbage Run play. We have not top decked a single good card that can help us. So it's going downhill. That's an Umbreon again, but not what I need. We're gonna have to do Strafe. I mean, yeah, we'll have to do that, I guess. I, there's not much I can do right now, guys. There's not much I can do. 90 damage, wouldn't even knock him out. He lives with 10, and he plays two Flare Gun. I mean, that's not a big deal since it's a Dark Energy, but still. If we don't Tom Deck something, guys, it's over. Like, there's just, we're screwed. Oh, come on, Rekko. Why do you suck so much? Alright, you know what we'll do? We'll play a Rangaroo. We'll strafe into the Rangaroo, I guess. Just let a Rangaroo take the damage. I mean, Umbreon. <sighs> Come on. I don't know. We can float the Rangaroo and then go from there, but I don't know. How many darks am I pulling? Okay, he's got none left in his discard. So, Living Wing's only doing 30. More Max Elixirs. <sighs> this is bad. He's gonna get rid of Dark Energy with his Ultra Ball, isn't he? Nope. Shaman Trubbish. Okay, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. As long as it doesn't do anything crazy, we're fine. Uh, via Seeker, alright. What is this going to get? Why is he not doing Sycamore? I'm really surprised he's not playing Professor Sycamore, guys. I mean, this could be... I guess I'm showcasing to you guys a bad part of this deck. You know, we're not drawn in anything. We're literally forced to do 30 a turn with, like, barely anything left to do. So, I guess... You guys have a dark. Get sort of a dark, though, which is kind of scary. So... He's getting energy in play. The best thing we got is Vespa. We're going to have to just one-shot with Vespa Clan at some point. Okay. Top deck. An N or a Sycamore, please. Okay. You see, okay, this is one of the problems that you can get out of this deck. You can be in complete top deck mode and not draw into a single good card. That could be a problem. So there you go. That's the problem this deck is not drawing into what you need. Because right now, guys, we're in top deck mode. We are not drawing into anything. We are dead drawing so hard right now, our deck is falling flat on its face. So, guys, it ain't looking too hot. Parallel City. Oh, no, God. Is he gonna... Oh, okay, he's definitely gonna do it to me. I guess we'll get rid of... We need the Umbreon, though. We could get rid of that, but... 
Mm -hmm. I'm honestly thinking of getting rid of the one with the damage on it. Hmm. You know what, we'll get rid of Combi. I was thinking to get rid of the 120 damage, but if we don't top deck anything, we aren't going to be able to get more damage. Plus, we top deck a DCE, and we can go from there. And there's a Sycamore. Okay. All right, gets rid of Darkrai, Trubbish. It's probably going to do a bunch of Max Elixirs this turn. Probably has Lysander cooking up, too. He can Lysander the thing. So it's just going to believe him in 30. All right, come on. We need a top deck game. Come on, don't do this to us. It, I just discarded Combi. Oh my god. I give up. We can't, we're not even getting like DC or anything. What am, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? We can... The best we can do is strafe into Rangaroo. We, we can't do anything else. I, I give up. I give up. I mean, you can kind of see one thing you can that hurts you is the fact that we are not drawing anything, and we are basically getting run over right now. And I would not be surprised if my opponent did a Lysander this turn and took out my Umbreon. No, just a Dark Knight Blade. All right. We can finally take this thing out. We already got rid of three energies, which is pretty decent, but it isn't helping. All right, come on. Top deck gods, please. All right, you know what? You came, like, really late, but I will forgive you, Professor Sycamore. I will forgive you. We don't even get any Ultra Balls or anything, really? No Ultra Balls to, like, grab Combi? Hmm. I don't want to get knocked out here. I'm going to put a DCE onto him, and then I'm going to do Strafe. I just got to hope he doesn't have another Flare Ground. I know he has a Via Seeker left, but he's played a lot of them. I'm just going to do it into Umbreon GX with the DC, and then we can maybe Darklaw next turn. I don't know. We are taking out a lot of his energy, which I'm happy about. All right, what is our prize going to be? Klefki. A little late. A little late now, buddy, but... We got it. We, we got the Klefki. It is what it is, I guess. I'm going to have a Skittle, since i got a bag of Skittles right here. Mm. But yeah. Uh, my opponent... Oh, no, we have the experience shares. Okay, you know what? Never forget, completely forget... The whole mentality of him not having, getting rid of all of his, three of his energy. I forgot he had experience share and play. Um, yeah, you can just kind of see, this deck, does he actually run three lilies? Wow. That is a first. That's a first. I mean, best thing we could do is, like, we have to swarm best book win, but if we Sycamore, we're losing every single one of our Via Seekers, which is pretty brutal. But we may have to do it. Alright, Max Elixir, series probably going to hit an energy. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Super Rod 2. Man, really? I don't know. Yeah, but this deck, you can see why it falls fine. When you're playing against a speed deck like Darkrai, and you can't keep up. I mean, the fact that we weren't drawing in anything screwed us over entirely. Like, we were not able to do a single thing. We got knocked out. Alright. We don't have a lot of Pokemon discard pile. I don't even know if an end of three is going to matter at this point. Can we get, like, a decent top deck? That's okay, but... If we had more Pokemon in our hand, I would be really happy. I think we're just forced to do Sycamore, guys. I mean, I don't want to do it, but... we got to find, like, something. More useless stuff. I mean, we can be revenge. It's not going to knock him out, but... We can knock him out with Dark Bullet, Shadow Bullet, but... Yeah, we basically lose... I don't see how we're going to be able to win this, guys. I mean, there's no way we're going to win. I'm just going to concede. I am probably like, why do you always concede? You suck at this game. Delete your PDCGO account. But there's no way we're going to win that game. I mean, we had an Umbreon with barely any HP left. He has all that energy in play. I mean, there's just nothing we can do. I'm not even going to bother. All right, Let's here we go, guys. We're going to go find a game, another game, and hopefully we don't play against another Dark Ride deck. Hopefully we don't lose either because of bad top decks so i'm hoping things work out for us but let's find out we'll see how this goes what are we up against primal groudon fighting and psychic could be zygarde garbage or two uh, i'm gonna go with tails on this coin flip totodile i'm feeling you today i love you totodile you know i i love you all right good we go first i think this is zygarde garbador but i mean zygarde's weak anyways to grass and oh come on two vespa quins really I don't know, maybe you could run Revitalizer in this deck. I think you might actually want to. Um, I don't even know if I want to do the Sycamore this turn. Just I don't want to lose to my Vespa Quins. 
Okay, Primal Groudon. Fine by me. This is probably one of your best matchups. I don't think he's getting knocked out right now. So, I'm gonna Farewell Letter. See if I can get, like, maybe Ultra Ball or, like, a Level Ball or something. Try and get a thing in play. Another Vespaquin? Oh my god, game. Why are you doing this to me? I honestly hope he ends me now. I, I I don't see him knocking me out. I think we're safe this turn, but Jesus, man, this this hand is awful. Vespaquin is like the only way we're actually gonna be able to deal with this Primal Groudon deck. So if we have to lose all these Vespaquins, that's not gonna be good. Okay, there's a strong eye to pass. Come on, top deck, please, Flareon. I I just gotta hope he plays Cairn. Actually, that hurts us, but I don't know. We're gonna have to go Sigma. We're gonna lose two Vespaquins. Alright, level ball. Umbreon's weak to fighting, too. So I'm just gonna grab Combi and just do this. We're not knocking him out, either. We didn't get enough Pokemon to discard. So that's stupid, but we'll just have the B-Revenge. Not gonna knock him out, but... Hey, you know what? It sets him up for Shadow Bullet. I don't know. But yeah, this is bad. I mean, I might honestly just retreat. I don't know, but if I had an Eevee down... Whew, this is rough. The fact that we had to lose... All these Vespaquins so early on is brutal because, again, Vespaquins like our best way of doing this. Maybe he'll retreat or like Floatstone or Switch or something or Escape Rope. Then we can just lie Sand or the Ground on unless he primal evolves it. So I'm thinking that could be a decent play. Just a pass. Okay. There's a level ball. And I think I'm going to use this opportunity to grab me an unknown and just try and get my Pokemon my discard pile. Alright, so let's do this. Um, Well, farewell letter. We're going to knock him out. So. I don't really need to end him right now, so let's go farewell letter. Orangaroo, I guess we can play him down. He could be a decent, I mean, he could be good. I mean, he does a lot of damage from ground except four energies. And I guess we'll just be revenge and knock him out. I don't want to end him. He didn't really draw into anything, so there's really no, he didn't like support or anything, so I'm not going to end him. Um, so yeah, let's take two prizes. Another energy, that's good. We had a, uh, uh, another Umbreon. Umbreon, I mean, it's not the worst attacker in this matchup since they can snipe ground on to get some damage on him. So just a pass. Okay. Ultra Ball. I'm gonna get rid of this, and I'm gonna get rid of an Umbreon GX. I don't think we're gonna need all those guys anymore. We'll grab an Eevee. Obviously, we're not gonna be able to evolve it. I don't, I don't even have an Umbreon with my deck, do I? Okay, yeah, we're out of Umbreon, so it's not like I wouldn't be able to evolve anyway. So we'll do this, and we'll be Revenge. And then next turn, I guess we'll start Strafing. I need to save Vespaquin. We didn't even knock him out. Wow. I need to save Vespaquin for the Groudon, so I rather would have Vespaquin just chill on the bench. Well, we just attack him with Umbreon, and he top decks a Sycamore. He gets rid of Ranger, Timer, but he plays two Timer Balls, interesting. I don't know, maybe he does run Carbon Break in his deck, because that's an interesting card to have. So, I mean, the Wobbuffet's helping him, but if he plays down a Groudon, we knock it out with Lysander. Two, four, six, eight. So, we're doing 160. Yeah, no, we're actually knocking him out. We did 90 to this thing, so we're knocking him out, I think. Yeah, we're knocking him out. Alright, so, yeah, if he puts a ground on him now. Yeah, we can knock him out. Alright, I'll just retreat into a Rangaroo, I guess. We can put the float on it, which I kind of want to do anyways. So we didn't play ground on down. I guess I'll just hold on to his hand for now. So we'll do this. We'll do this. We will do this. And I guess we'll just strafe. I want to hold on to this Lysander for the Groudon when he plays it down, so I'm just going to retreat and strafe and keep that up. I don't think he's getting rid of this float at all, so this float is going to chill on my Orangaroo for a bit. So there's a Groudon, all right, so we can Lysander knock that thing out with the best Bitcoin. Even if we don't, I'm not too worried about it. He's not going to knock us out. Even if we lose an energy, we still have some energy in our deck, so it's not the end of the world. Getting damage on these Groudon is good anyway, so this is Professor Sycamore. Let's see, what does he get rid of? Three Timer Balls. He must not run Ultra Ball in his deck then. For running Timer Ball. So I know you can Timer Ball for the Groudon, but I mean, I'm surprised he doesn't. I don't know. What is this? Is he going to play down another Groudon? If he plays another Groudon down, I'm going to be a little worried. We see a float on Wob, okay. And a retreat into the one with damage on it. Okay, he's probably scared of Shadow Bullet, that's why. Yeah, I guess Shadow Bullet could take two prizes. Okay, I see now. I see, fam. I see. So I'm going to retreat into the Queen of Bees, Lysander the Groudon. And I think this knocks him out. Even if it doesn't, we can always cam later. But at 180, boom, right on the dot. Right on the dot. Taking out Groudon. Taking two prizes. Eevee and a Dark. Not bad. I think at this point we have the win. If I had a VS Seeker, that'd be amazing. VS Seeker, we'd win the game. 
but we don't. But yeah, if we get via seeker at any point, which I'm pretty sure we still have all of our via seekers up. No, we still we only have three. I strong a lot of cards. Um, if he ends me, we draw to via seeker. All we have to do is just we can shadow bullet or like Lysander or Groudon if he plays one down. So we see a float going on Wobby. He's obviously not gonna retreat it because he's worried about the double shadow bullet KO. Oh holy cow, it's sycamore. I have not seen a single primal Groudon yet. I am really surprised. He's dug through that many cards and hasn't gotten a single primal Groudon yet. I am I'm both puzzled and surprised at the same time. I don't know. My webcam down a bit. Angle that better. Alright. Ultra Ball. Alright, nice. We can get rid of some excess stuff in our deck. Guess we'll grab Vespa Queen. We can't get any more in play. We could have maybe grabbed a gnome too. I don't know. We'll play down the Queen of Bees. We'll Dark Energy that. We'll retreat into Umbreon and go with Straight. I mean, we even have Dark Hall, so maybe if, like, he builds up a Groudon, we can just, boom, Dark Call it, take all those, those energies, take a prize, what are we gonna get? Hoping for Via Seeker, nope, a Clef Key, not what I wanted, but I think at this point, we could win the game. I don't know. We, are we one shot? Yeah, we're gonna knock out Wobbuffet 90, alright, yeah, it's all good. So he actually does end me to one, in before this end of one is, like, Professor Sycamore or something. I will laugh. What is this end of one gonna be? Wow. <laughs> If he plays a via, if you play play a ground on down so I can win the game, play a ground on down so I can win. Okay, but you can kind of see the luck of this deck. I mean, primal ground on it's it's a good rogue and you can see. But yeah, there you go. All right, nice. So what are we gonna get? Are they doing double coins? I think they are. They have to be doing double coins. Holy cow, we got a ton of coins there. All right, well that's nice. We gotta find more games. We've only got two games. One game where we got wrecked by Darkrai, and then another game where we were able. To wreck a ground on deck. So we gotta find another match. And it's against Volcanian. Alright. Volcanian. Ugh, I hate this deck. I hate it, but whatever. We'll we'll beat it. We'll we'll try and win the game. All is good. We got Vaporeon in the deck, so there you go. And we win the coin flip, which is even better. Oh my god, I almost pressed no. Almost had a heart attack. Phone is going off, but I don't even know who's texting me. Okay, Combi start. Oh, we gotta discard that, really? Oh, this is why two special charge might be good. Even if you only use, if, even if you don't really have that many DC attackers, I think having two is important. I don't know, you can go three darks, two charges, I don't know. Okay, hold on. How much is Shaman doing again? One, yeah, we don't need to do that. Well, farewell letter for one. I want to get like a level ball or something. We can play Eevee. Really? We'll go Sycamore. I really don't like losing Special Charge, but we're not discarding any DCs in the process, so I guess it's fine. There's an Eevee for Vaporeon. There is another Combi. Uh, do we need to play Rangaroo? Yeah, I don't think we do. I think I'll just pass. Uh, Combi might get knocked out, though. But even if he does, he's joining the he's joining the discard, so it's not the end of the world. Um, so we still have three unknowns. We only have three Pokemon to discard, so we can definitely get Vaporeon and play next turn, which is nice. So we see a Scorched Earth coming down, a Fire Energy off that Scorched Earth. Oh boy. Can he do anything? He plays a Tauros down? He plays Tauros in his deck? Okay, that's gonna be brutal. Um, as long as we don't really knock him out, or like, damage him with, uh, Umbreon. Alright, just a- pardon me, just a pass. There's an Ultra Ball. We will get rid of a Rangaroo and a Dark Energy. We have Shaman. All right, so Vaporeon is in the deck. So we do have Vaporeon. All right, I guess yeah, we'll grab Shaman. And I know this is crazy, but I'm actually putting a DC on Combi. The reason I'm doing this is I want to hold on to Dark Energy for Umbreon. So if we put that Dark, I only have two left, and that's not good. All right, we got a Sycamore, perfect, just what I needed. So we'll do this. And we will get ourselves Vaporeon. Vaporeon is more important. As long as we can draw into Shaman here. We're not Shaman. Uh, Vespa Quinn, we're fine. So let's hope this Sycamore pays off. Come on. Do not let me down, Sycamore. Give me a Vespa Quinn. Okay, nice. Nice, nice. I actually really like this hand. We have another Eevee. We got another Vespa Quinn. We can even play down a third Vespa Quinn. We can... Oh, I should have done Klefki! I thought that was a dumb play on my end. We should have cleft keyed. And we wouldn't have been in the discard, but still would have been nice. So we can hit him for 140, and then we can do Shadow Bullets and then knock him out that way. So that's good. We should have played the cleft key down. 
Um, we're probably going to do Sycamore anyways next turn, so it's not a big deal, I guess. So, the only way we can get rid of this Tauros successfully is two shot with Vesvigan or one shot with Vesvigan. Because Mad Bull GX can go straight through Umbreon if we hit it for 90, so we got to be careful for that. This Volcanius is the active. I will be fine because that's two easy prizes right off the bat. So, we see Scorcher. As long as he ain't drawn into anything, we're going to be good. Please do not draw into anything so that we can keep wrecking you with my boy. Fire Energy, okay, please. Fingers crossed. He doesn't have a supporter. Does he have one? Or are we just... Okay, nice, sweet. Nice. And another DCE. We can plop that onto the Vespa Quinn. We'll do this. And I'm actually going to retreat. The reason I'm doing this... I don't know. Maybe he runs Team Flare Gun. We keep that Dark Energy on. That could be important. So let's go with Sycamore. All right. We're going to have to burn these unknowns now. We've got Hex Maniac for next turn. I'm going to burn these unknowns. Grab me a Vespa Quinn. The reason I'm burning these unknowns so early... I mean, we have a full bench, so we're not really going to be playing them anytime soon. We can even Hex Maniac him next turn. Oh, almost Intelligence Gathering, which would have knocked him out. Would it? No, actually, Intelligence Gathering would have knocked him out. Maybe I should have done that. All right, whatever. Let's just do the knockout. Take two prizes. Float, which is really nice. I'm glad I got that. We got a teammate, which could be good. We're definitely just going to Hex Maniac him next turn. Show him, slow him down a little bit. He's only doing 60. He ain't knocking me out. So, all right, Scorched Earth. Please do not get a supporter. I'm hoping this dude doesn't get anything. Max Elixir, I mean, that can give you an energy, but it ain't going to give you a supporter. So as long as he's just doing the 60 damage, then I'm happy. And then we can just Hex Maniac him, knock him out, be revenge. No, an end. <laughs> no. I mean, it's fine. We still have Vaporeon in play. So as long as we aren't getting knocked out here, I'm happy. Another DC, which is good. Tauros, we even got the Hex Maniac. Nice. So more fires going down. It looks like he doesn't get anything. No Volcanians, no steam up. So just a power heater for 60. Okay. Okay. How am I going to do this? These Tauroses are going to go right through me. Alright, we'll do Hex Maniac. I'll D. You know what? Let's just do this. Mm, he's not going to knock me out. So I'm going to retreat into Vespaquin. The reason I'm doing this is because he'll just knock me out like horn attack. Oh no, we hex maniac our Vaporeon! Oh my Bruh. We hex maniac our Vaporeon. I'm an idiot. I mean we're not getting knocked out, but that backfired horribly. Oh, that was such a bad play, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dude, I'm fake. I'm telling you, man, making these videos and trying to speak and commentate at the same time, it gets way too stressful. But one way we can win around these Tauruses, as long as we don't damage them, is just Lysander or any Volcanians he plays down and knock them out. So there's one way we can win. So, I mean, we're still not getting knocked out, even if he gets Volcanians and does steam up, which you can't do because the Hex Maniac. But I can't believe I did that. That. That was a stupid play on my end. I'm sorry, guys. So we see double energy retrieval. Okay. I want to see him play Volcanion down so we can lie standard one up and knock it out. See another fire going down. And it retreat. Okay. I'm actually fine with that. This is actually kind of what I wanted. Okay, 70. All right. How much damage are we doing? We're not going to knock him out. Okay. I think we be revenge him and then knock out the Tauros. Because he's going to knock us out. And that's going to put enough Pokemon in the discard pile to knock out the Tauros, so we'll do with the B-Revenge. I'm going to hold off on that DC, just in case, you never know. And then what I'll do is, I'll bring up the damage Vespa Quinn, knock him out, and then he'll probably knock me out, but then we can knock him out the other Vespa Quinn, take two prizes. So I'm pretty pretty confident of winning this. Especially if he plays down a Volcanian here, then we are going to be in a good position. So there's a Sycamore, there's a Volcanian, perfect, just what I like to see. We can Lysander it up and KO it. Instead of Daily and damaging the Toro. So we see a full going on Volcanian. There's a trainer's mail. Okay. Or I maybe I should just take the knock on the Toros. I think that might be better. Okay, how okay, how many BS seekers do we play for Lysander? None. Max Elixir. It's fine. I think I'm definitely gonna knock out that Volcanian. The way I'm gonna win is just using Lysander, so we'll do that. So alright. So do I have the other Lysander my discard? I don't think I do. I don't. Alright, so I still have bold Lysander in my deck. So we're going to get knocked out with Horn Attack, but that puts two Pokemon in discard pile, meaning it charges them up for a knockout. We can even bring a Wobbuffet as like a wall. 
I guess. Okay, we can take the knockout, and then knock out the Volcanion for the win, but then he might do... Ooh, I don't know. I guess... If we knock out Volcanion... Yeah, you know what? I'm actually kind of comfortable doing that. I'll bait him a little bit. We'll take out Volcanion, just get it out of the way. And this way... I mean, maybe we could take the knock out the Torth, but that just easy Lysander bait right there, so... Two prizes. Can we get Via Seeker? No, we had a Sycamore. I'm probably just going to do teammates and just be like, hey, teammates, I got the win. Or actually, no, I'm going to go with Sycamore instead. If he ends me, then I'm only drawing two. So, Nest Ball, Volcanian, sure, play as many as you want down your bench. He's not knocking us out unless he does one steam up. One steam up knocks us out, so right, there's the steam up, so we're going to get knocked out. Okay, so I think now I'm going to have to build up Umbreon. So we're definitely going to have to do that. So there's a baby Volcanian. Are we going to get into two or not? No, okay, sweet. So we are gonna get KO'd. Rip in the chat. But 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 Aries. How many darks have we lost? Two. Three. So we only got one left. Alright, we'll bring up Vespaquin, obviously. I think I'm just gonna sick more, just dump all these cards, cause an N would screw me over. So we'll DC the Umbreon. We'll Ultra Ball away Umbreon and Klepki. We'll grab a gnome. And I'm actually going to hold on the un to the unknown, just in case we do get end here. So I'll go Sycamore, and we got to draw into one of our VS Seekers or that last Lysander so we can win the game. There we go. We'll float the Wobbuffet, I guess. And let's go with... Hmm. I guess we're just going to be revenge. Okay, yeah, we'll be revenge. Yeah, I guess. That's the best play. We'll be revenge, knock him out. Take our two prizes and just hope, or not two, one prize. Hope he doesn't end us. End would be bad. Mm, yeah, end would be terrible. We won't have enough strafe. So he actually does bring up the Tauros. Obviously, we can't knock it out with Umbreon. As long as he doesn't end us, we win. All we have to do is Lysander out one of those two Volcanians and then Shadow Bullet him. So I'm praying we do not get end. I'm praying we do not get end. This is why I kept the unknown, just in case we do get into one that gives us one extra option. Oh god, I'm actually really scared right now, guys. I'm really scared. I'm actually kind of nervous, because I don't know if we can win at that point. Another dark going on. Fire, okay. I guess we're going to get end. Oh, fingers crossed. Uh, don't get end. <laughs> please. Don't get end, please. Oh, he actually retreats. Okay. We can strafe, then. Okay. Actually, no. No, N! Oh, my God. Of course he held on to that, dude. Come on. And a Comey. I knew I was going to draw into one of these Pokemon, bro. <sighs> I just got to hope he didn't have Lysander, man. That's so annoying. And we can't win this turn. We're out of Vespaquin, so Comey's kind of useless. I'll play him down anyways. I'll play the unknown, I guess. I mean, dark energy, we can strafe. No, of course not. I'll do it anyways, just get things out of our hand. We'll keep the Wobbuffet active, I guess. If, if he has Lysander, I'm going to cry. But we're not going to get knocked out, I guess. He can knock out, like, Eevee or Comby, which is fine, but... That end of one is just devastating. I don't even know how we're going to win. This is rough, man. We need to draw into a Dark and a Lysander, but if we don't... I mean, dang, that end of one just screwed me over completely. I can't believe he had that in his hand. That's so frustrating, bro. We just got to let this Wobbuffet wall for a bit. That's like the best play I got right now. Because that end of one really just... It hit me right here, man. That was so brutal. Such a brutal end of one. Such a brutal end of one. Alright. How annoying. It is what it is, though, I guess. It is what it is. <sighs> There's a Sycamore. Please get rid of a bunch of... Okay, he does get rid of Lysander, which is scary, meaning... He hasn't even used a VS Seeker yet, and there's no way he doesn't have one in his hand. How has he not used a VS Seeker? Oh my god, I'm so frustrated right now. Why does he play two Doros? What is this? Oh my god. Okay, come on. Come on. I, like... Town map. No VSC. 
Does he not run any VS Seeker? Like, there's no way he hasn't gotten a VS Seeker. There's no way he hasn't played one yet or discarded one. Unless he's just really lucky. Alright. Top deck gods. Okay, that's a start. We have... Oh, we actually could put the energy on him. Hold on. We'll evolve into the Umbreon. What we could do is we can... He's gotta have a Lysander, though. Because all he has to do is retreat, energy, Lysander. Boom, take out that. And then I'm literally... There's nothing I can do to win. Hmm, but if I hold on to that... Oh, I don't know. Hmm. Like, we could strafe. But, all he needs is Lysander and it's over. Lysander, all he needs is a VS Seeker and a Fire Energy. And it's over. Like, we could strafe. Or, no, actually, you know what we can do? If he has Switch, it's over, but... We could Dark Call him. Get rid of both of those Fire Energies. Or get rid of one and one. I don't mind that, actually. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. We'll get rid of one on the active, and one on that Bench Tauros. That way that Tauros isn't going to get powered up. In before Enhanced Hammer. If he Enhanced Hammer, is unconceding. Even with Strafe, there's just literally nothing I can do at that point. Like, Strafe's only doing 60. It's not going to be enough. I don't have enough Lysanders. So, it's all down to this top deck, really. Okay, that, that had to have saved us. If that saved us, I'm going to be very happy. Because, that, I mean, he can still attack me with this Tauros, but that prevents this one from coming up and just Mad Bull GXing. That's how he can win. Double Fresh's Letter, please have no, no, he's super rotted. Oh, no. No, he didn't grab an energy. Ooh, okay. No, he had one. Alright. Luckily, it's only doing 70, and as long as I don't attack it, then we're fine. Like, as long as we don't build that one up, we're good. He might even just... Well, no, if he retreats against Mach down, I win. Alright, down to this top deck. Lysander, please, I can top deck... I can top deck a VS Seeker. I got 3 out of 7 odds of winning this game this turn. Yeah, and we win. Holy cow! What a game. I think I'm just going to end the video off here, guys. That was crazy. Just bring up Volcanion, and then, boom, Shadow Bullet, knock it out, and then do 30 to that. That was the most intense game I've ever had on this game. Holy cow. But yeah, you can kind of see this deck, it did its magic, and we can eat 99 coins back. This double wheel, oh, I'm going to grind PC fuel tonight. Two packs. I don't even know if I want to buy two packs, in all honesty. I might even just save a hold on. What's in my store? I really want to get these Pokeball sleeves. I think they're gone. They're gone. Yeah. All right. You know what? Screw it. We'll buy two packs. Nothing else to buy. I don't need the. I don't need that. I'm not really looking for Genesect. Maybe Verizian wouldn't be bad, but I don't care. I don't really. I don't know if I want to play it. So, anyways, we'll open up two packs. We pull like a good GX card. We can trade one off. So, yeah, I think, you know, if we pull, like, an Umbreon, we can easily just trade one off, get some stuff I need, so that'll be good. So, come on! Reverse the Rangaroo. Not what I need. Okay, we'll open up one last pack, and then we'll end off the video. Alright, come on, give me the goodies, and... nothing. Great. Double wheel, though. It's pretty good. It's lit. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed, hit like button. Don't forget to see more PCGO content, and I'll see more for you on another PCGO video. Peace out. Thank you guys for watching, and have a good day.